The statuette is the only work of sculpture that Degas ever exhibited in his whole lifetime. And it's also the original version of a very famous statuette, famous because after Degas' death, it was replicated at his family's wishes in beautiful bronze casts, more than 30 of them. And those can be seen in museums all over the world today and in private collections. But the original, the only one Degas ever touched or saw, is the one that's here in this room. We see her at the age of 14, and Degas carefully included her age in the title of the sculpture. He didn't, often didn't give his paintings and drawings and sculptures titles at all. This one, it really mattered to him to tell you that she was 14, meaning that she was at the beginning. She was on the brink. She could go either way. I just feel like that's their, they love to bicker, Degas and Marie. You know, they're like, he's finally met a ballerina who isn't afraid to speak. And I think that that's what's really special about her is that she's not scared of him and she's not afraid to speak her mind when normally ballerinas, you know, you don't think they speak. <laughs> She came from a very poor family, but wanted to become a ballerina. And uh, Degas really sort of became obsessed drawing her and painting her. You see her face in many of his um, pictures and paintings. So uh, it was really the idea was to bring her back to life. When I look at that statue, I believe that Degas selected her because she had character, she had wit, she had, there was something about her that was different from the others. She didn't look like the other dancers. She had uh, more of a, a fight to her, something, a, a real spirit inside. And I feel like that's what inspired him to, to draw her. <laughs> It's a serious story because it does uh, touch on the plight of women in, in uh, Paris in 1881 and, and what their options were. So uh, it does have a, um, a, a very serious tone to it, yet within that 
that has the joy of dance.